Hi everyone, today I am going to review season 3 of Heartstopper, which you can stream on Netflix. So it came out last week and I saw it uh, probably a day after or something. And I, even though I am not of the generation, I really enjoyed uh, Heartstopper. Season 1 when it came out, I fell in love with it. It was so amazing, so beautifully written. And the chemistry between the characters were so good that I was, I was, like a lot of other people, I was very excited about it as well. Now, when season two came out, it was still pretty good, but in comparison to season one, it felt a little bit of a downer for me. Like it, it I don't, I felt it was not as good as season one. It was still good, but not as good. So I was a little concerned about season 3, which direction they were going to go in, and they have definitely surprised me. The show has taken a slightly different approach, and uh, the story has gotten more serious, dealing with some of the issues these young people deal with. And uh, so the season 3 is done, written slightly differently, um, but I really enjoyed it. I, I fell in love with it. I In the first 20 minutes of the, of the, of the episode, I was already bawling my eyes out. I was crying like crazy. And you're gonna watch the show to know why I did that. Um, I'm not gonna do spoilers, but I do want to talk about some of the important things that they do discuss in the uh, in the season 3. It's about, and this is not supposed to be a surprise because it's already out there, this information, but it's about Charlie's eating disorder. We talk about that a lot and we talk about how Charlie and Nick deal with that on uh as a couple as well as on their own and how those issues are brought up we also see the other characters grow and we see them uh venture out into all these other things that they're doing in their life and how they're dealing with their senior year or the sophomore year depending on who you are talking to or who, who you're uh dealing with in terms of the character the like the show is i i don't know how they scream break how the screenplay is being written but I get a lot of emotional uh, I got a lot of emotions out when I'm watching the show I'm smiling I'm crying I'm laughing it's really weird I don't do that usually so it's kind of strange to go through the emotions with the characters like for example when uh, the three magic words are spoken by uh, Charlie and Nick like, I am bawling my eyes out. Like, I'm crying like crazy. It's ridiculous. It, that hasn't happened to me in I don't know how long. Like, it's been so long that it's ever happened to me. It's ridiculous. Um, but it was so beautifully written, and the acting is so on point that you feel that chemistry between these two characters, especially. And the other characters are great, too. The trans character, the asexual character, and all these other people. Like, they have really beautifully written story. I mean, for me, Nick and Charlie are uh, the central cusp of the story, and of course, story does revolve around them for the most part, which makes sense. But the other characters are really good, too. I mean, I've mentioned this in my season two review as well, but a lot of gay characters in one one school, one uh, it's it's a dream that doesn't really happen. That's not the experience you see, but it's nice to see it portrayed in such a beautiful way. Um, one scene, another scene that was beautifully written was when Charlie uh, is communicating with his parents about his problem and Nick is there to support him and how Nick is dealing with it and it's like there's so many beautiful moments in the show uh, that I was just like I was I'm telling you as I said I was crying laughing all the way through it so I highly recommend watching the show I know not everyone is going to connect with the show because it is about very young people about a generation that I don't connect with either but for some reason Nick and Charlie uh, stuck a chord with me and for, for some reason Kit and Joe Locke have done such a beautiful job that I connect with them for some reason I just do even though they're so young and <laughs> that's not the experience I've had uh, in my in my life but it was so beautifully written and so beautifully done I highly recommend watching the show watch go ahead watch it it's, it's such a wonderful show and uh, the show, show becomes a little bit more serious in season 3 and uh, oh it's I, like I love it. It's 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 beautiful. I got goosebumps watching the show. I'm telling you, I went through the emotions with the characters. It was ridiculous. Like that 
<laughs> that I'm so surprised by it. I literally am. And I, I highly recommend watching it on Netflix. It's something that is groundbreaking in one way. Um, so the season ends with a slight of a cliffhanger. Um, we do not know. Uh, season 4 has not been renewed yet. I think it will be. But to be honest with you, it's one of those shows which if it ends right there and we don't have a season 4, I would be okay with that. Because the way they left those characters in that end of under that season, I know that their stories in my head are still going to be okay and they're still going to work things out. But So if, I, if we don't get season 4, it's actually one of the very rare times I would actually be okay with this whole season 4. I, I hardly ever say that, but I've, I think I've matured and grown enough to say that it's okay to end the show here. I'd be okay with that. I don't think it will. I think we will see season four. But uh, if it doesn't, I'm just saying, uh, I'd be okay with it because I know where they left the characters. I know they're going to be okay. Uh, but if we see season four, wonderful. We will see more exploration, more... I think we'll see a little bit more Nick, uh, Nick's problems in season four if it does happen because Char it was more focused on Charlie this time so I think the focus was shift for Nick a little bit more in the season four um, but we'll have to wait and see so please go ahead watch it it's an amazing show uh, you feel the sparks when they are sparking in the show you're feeling the sparks so go ahead watch it highly recommend it please like share and subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching